Now, Sasha Banks. Love me some Sasha Banks. Y'all know I love Sasha Banks as well. So there's been some frustration and some things going around saying that Sasha Banks wants to quit WWE. I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. But we got to look into the, the things here. I'm reading on here on Forbes that Sasha Banks has uh, being frustrated in WWE is nothing new, obviously. Uh, this week, her frustrations came to a head when the former four-time Raw Women's Champion last week cancellation of an appearance on the Wendy. Okay, th this is an old article I'm reading here, but... At WrestleMania 35, Bailey and Sasha Banks lost the titles to the Iconics. And there's reports saying that Sasha Banks is backstage ready to quit. Her and Bailey were making scenes, act like little brats backstage, lying on the floor, and talking about how much they hate WWE, which I don't believe. I don't believe. They took a picture with the Iconics backstage. So I don't believe any of that. However, I can see why Sasha Banks is frustrated with the WWE. If you take a look at the career of Sasha Banks, going all the way back to NXT, her whole boss giving, she didn't care about nobody else. It was all about her. It was all about, I need, you know, I'm the boss of this woman's division and I need to take what's mine. And I like that about Sasha Banks. She was a great heel. That's what made Sasha Banks so good at what she did. So, in NXT, her and Bailey, especially, she was put on the map uh, when the NXT took over Brooklyn Women's Championship match with Bailey. She was put on the map with that. That was a great matchup. And then she has just been, you know, everybody loves Sasha Banks. That her and Bailey had that uh, Iron Woman match at NXT the end uh, take over to take over the end with her and Bailey. And she and she she took the flower off the. Uh, Bailey's little uh, top fan outside, stuff like that. She was a great heel. Great heel. She knew how to make people hate her. She came to the roster with Team Bad as NC Women's Champion, but then she, had, she dropped it to Bailey. And they were just treading water. But then she had uh, a hit, uh, matches with Charlotte that were just amazing. She became a four time Women's Champion, but she could never defend the championship. Every time she won it, the next time, she did first her first title defense, she lost it. Every single time. And 2018 alone, Sasha Banks and even Bailey, they were just shit. They didn't do nothing in 2018 where they're worth any merit. So I can understand why she's frustrated. But then again, I'm looking at Sasha Banks' career also and look at it from another way. You had one of the greatest NXT matches in history with Bailey at TakeOver Brooklyn. You were part of the first ever women's Iron Woman, Iron Man match. You were part of the first ever women's pay-per-view main event. You were part of the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match. You were the first ever uh, women's tag team champions. There are a lot of things in Sasha Banks' career, she she was in a lot of high-profile matches. She was part of that WrestleMania 32 triple threat match with her, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte to crown a new women's champion when they retired the Divas Championship. She's part of all that. And her, her and Charlotte have main evented countless Raws for their women's championship. Falls count anywhere. Regular matches, they've they, they, they done it. Sasha Banks, if you look in the, the women's revolution and look at all the things that she has done, she's also done a lot. A hell of a lot. So, you know, it, it depends on... Some people say Sasha may take herself too seriously, like like a Bret Hart type thing, which could be the case. I, I met Sasha once, very nice woman when I met her. A lot of people had the, you know, the horror stories I heard in the airport at 5 in the morning. I mean, I will be a horror story at an airport, period. But at 5 in the morning, oh, you can't even talk to me. So, I get it. You know, I get it. P p fans want you to be on your P's and Q's all the time. Man, no, please. That's selfish because we not even on our P's and Q's all the time. So, I you know, I, I don't take that, you know, with, with, with anything. But Sasha Banks 
has done so much in this business, but I can understand the frustration. But I'm not going to say that WWE hasn't done anything with Sasha Banks at all. If anybody should be frustrated, it should be Bailey. Bailey should be the really to be the one frustrated at all because they just don't do, do shit with Bailey at all. But uh, she says she wants to quit. She she is at the Dominican Republic with uh, is it Dominican Republic? I'm not sure. She's somewhere with Mikazi on vacation, and I think it was could be a planned vacation. And she said she ain't coming back to work. Rumor of also take all this with a grain of salt. But even if Sasha Banks wants to quit, WWE is not going to. Re- uh, let her out of her contract. I don't know how many years Sasha Banks got left on her contract, but WWE is not just going to just let her out of her contract like that. She's too valuable to them. Dean contract is up. He can go wherever the fuck he want to go. Sasha Banks, I think, got another year left on her contract. So if she wants to quit, she can quit, but she's going to sit on, sit at home still on that contract. That's just the way it's going to be. And... I, I know Sasha and she, she I know she would walk away with a good from, from a good payday. If she goes to AEW, I think Sasha Banks is going to be doing the same thing she's doing at WWE. She's the boss. She's, they'll, they'll they'll probably shoot her to the top with her being one of the, the the main stars over in AEW. But I think the thing about AEW is she's going to probably have the same amount of success in AEW as she's had in WWE. I get, you know, that's the only thing that that bothers me a little bit with with, uh, with Sasha a little bit is that ego. And I think she takes herself a little bit too seriously. And I'm not not sitting here defending for WWE all the way saying that they gave her a lot of shit and she she, she should be humble. I'm I'm going with Sasha because it's frustrating. And I know she said she wouldn't have a new, a long title reign with the titles of her and Bailey, so we can put some legitimacy on them. And I agree with that because they, they was on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and we haven't seen them defend it nowhere. I would love to see them go back to NXT and defend the titles. And I think that could have been a good story going into like a takeover Brooklyn or t- takeover WrestleMania weekend. Just did them going to face at a takeover for the uh, WWE Women's Championships. I would agree that they probably lose them at SummerSlam. I'm cool with that. I can understand that, but it's it's hard. It's I don't want Sasha to leave. I love Sasha, and yes, I'm gonna be slightly biased because you know that's one of my sisters, man. You know, say I don't want any of the sisters to leave. You know, say we ain't got enough of them already. So I want you know her to stay to represent, and especially as good as she is, I will say this. I will say that. I hope these next couple of weeks Sasha gets her head together because if she has a year left on her contract and she just wants to quit and not do anything, she's going to be sitting on her couch not doing anything. And because Vince is not going to release her out of her contract, I seriously doubt Vince McMahon will release Sasha Banks out of her contract, especially with AEW right around the corner getting a TV deal coming up and it go right over to the competition. He's not going to do that. You see what happened to Revival? They went out. Revival got another year, uh, another year, nine something months left. Guess what? They staying. Gallows and Anderson. They went out too. Guess what? They staying. At least until September. That's when Gallows and Anderson's contract is up, and then they're going to leave. But th- until then, they staying. They staying. So. That's the the thing about Sasha. If you if you want to quit, quit. But you, you're not going to do anything because you're going. He's not going to release you out your contract. And that's what makes the situation so sad.